Hey guys, well every now and then I get asked uh, to make a video uh, explaining uh, the correlation between uh, the instruction manual and the actual components and how they go together. So we're going to do that uh, today. So what I have is this is a um, electrostatic uh, mat type mat. It's conductive. It's connected to ground, so and it won't cause any spark and potentially damage electronics. I'm also tethered to it too. I have a, a ESD type smock. Not that you guys will all need this, but since we're on the floor, we've got to dress appropriately. And we're going to look and uh, wire up the um, toss kit 350A. 50th anniversary uh, 1350 scale enterprise LED fan blade and control board kit uh, which you can um, then extrapolate and take this information and use it basically on any other kit we have. So here we go. Okay guys and we're back. Alright so um, this is the uh, 50th anniversary toss the LED version of the kit that we make. So um, let's talk about the uh, rotating uh, facade boards. That's the back side. So that's the instruction. Now we show a 9 volt battery. That's just to test it outside. In reality when you're powering up um, this big 1350 ship uh, you're going to be using a power adapter. Uh, our boards will work on 9 or 12 volts uh, DC. And for the TOS, you probably can get away with one ampere output, but if you just want to standardize in a two ampere output power adapter for 12 volts out, that's great too. No worries there, okay? So let's put this aside for a second and let's open up this bag. Okay. These two boards okay from the front they look identical okay from the back let's put it so the regulator is let's say it's at 12 o'clock now these the yellow wires on these boards uh, are the speed adjustment uh, wires okay so you can make it uh, kind of twinkle or rotate faster or slower now uh, so you guys uh, run into this in the past when you want to just test one board external you know to the ship you put the clockwise uh, board on which is the one that has that resistor right here R10 and it works fine and then you pick up this board and connect it to your you know the plus and minus to either 9 volts or 12 volts and uh, you, you don't connect the wire the yellow wire you just leave let it hang and it doesn't work it starts working funky as somebody says well that's because in order for these two boards to work correctly the two yellow wires must must be tied together so let's uh, Strip this a little bit more. Okay. Now you can tie them like this together. Now this, by the way, this goes to once this connection now that it's been joined goes to one side of the momentary switch and the other side of the momentary switch goes to minus okay so actually we could have gone ahead and stripped the red wires too and the black let's take care of this one too So red to red. And by the way, always do this unpowered on 
only because you can create a problem. But by the way, these two yellow wires that are the switch wires, if any one of these wires, well, now that they're joined together, would affect both boards, if it ever touches the red wire for the main power feed, you're going to blow the, ch the, uh, the input channel because I get calls every now and then, hey, I press the button, it doesn't, the speed doesn't change. And they, they say, yeah, the wire's connected to the board, it's not broken, we've checked it out. Well, that's what happened somehow. When you, you know, when you're test fitting, what have you, if that wire, this yellow wire isn't tied down, if it's just floating in the air like now, and it happens to touch the nine or 12 volt plus side of the power supply goodbye Charlie you, you wreck the uh, input channel because these um, these micros can't go above 5.5 and that's why we have a 5 volt regulator on the board so now that's it that's all there is to it blacks connected reds connected yellow connected and that my friends goes along with this okay so the only other thing we need to do is um, connect the switch and connect it to power. And we'll be back shortly for that. Okay, we're back. All right, these are the LEDs that come with the kit. Now in here, we have all the LEDs. You're gonna see the switch. 9 volt battery clip we're not going to use. We're going to use our own uh, DC power supply. It's set at 12 volts. Okay. So. Remember I told you about the switch? What we're going to do, if I can find it in this rat's nest. Twisted nice and tight. Now, if you have a little holder, you know, a little arm to hold this, I'm just going to kind of tough it out. Do that. Now, I prefer to use leaded solder. This is a 60-40 blend, 60% lead, uh, or should I say tin, 40% lead. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to, I'm going to use one of this little green bus wire that it's hanging on this bench. But the other side of the switch, remember I told you, goes to minus, right? So we're going to put it in there. And we're going to solder it. You can use that gauge. There's no current flowing, so it doesn't matter. Now, you don't want to put too much heat on these pins because they'll melt the plastic on the switch and they'll fall right out. I've seen it happen, believe me. Okay, so here's let's see. here's the black wire. There's the green wire. We're gonna we're gonna strip it. Okay. And as far as testing this, we're basically done. That's all we need to do is connect uh, plus 12 to the, to the red wires and minus to the black wires, okay? And I'm going to get some tape. Yeah, here we go. Here's some tape here. Remember, I said that yellow wire can't touch anything. Well, now it's on the switch, so we'll just keep it over here out of 
harm's way just so I can show you guys yep you can see that here's the um, well, let's see which is the this is the this is the kind of clockwise board just want to rotate it around I'm gonna off screen I'm gonna connect the plus and the minus is right here I'm gonna connect that off screen too and I'll tape it down so nothing touches while I'm moving things around in case I have to to explain things what have you okay okay yep we're on screen all right so well let's turn the power on and it comes up fast okay let's get my hands out of the way hit it again it starts to slow down Whoop. back to fast slower slower and you can really tell <clears throat> see that red LED in the center there that, that's a glow LED the slower you make it the longer it takes for it to ramp up and down okay and now we're back to fast that's it see it wasn't so bad to solder that right all right now we're gonna go to the motherboard and hook that up okay I think we um, we lost some um, recording there but anyway we're back so we're here and let's use the impulse engine LEDs which is the brown and gray again we'll just do one if you can do one you can do a hundred LEDs okay guys we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna tin them I'm a little bit off screen but you know what I'm doing I'm tinning the the gray wire and the brown wire and then we're gonna tin one of the brown wires here and we're gonna put brown to brown okay there you go and we're gonna unroll it and we're gonna bring it to another one of the gray wires up here which is minus anyway right we talked about that just tacking it ordinarily I wrap it solder it, and then shrink tube it to protect it okay okay are we on screen we are there yep so what I'm going to do is tape it, tape it down. No, I'm on top of something. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. So just make sure nothing's shorting. Everything's good. Turn power on. Okay, you can see it's glowing, and there's your nav timing. Okay. So you see it's not a it's not a big mystery, guys. It's just a matter of uh, soldering. That's how you solder. We talked about um, what an actual LED looks like on paper when it's schematic based like that and we we also explained the body of the LED see that short leg minus long leg positive and that's it's equivalent in schematic base so you can follow the diagrams okay um, that that's pretty much it guys then it's just a matter of putting these in the locations where they belong 
okay and um, you guys know how to do that I don't have a ship here so I can't do that but um, we needed to do a, a video of us showing the instruction and how they relate to the boards which I think we've done so there you go um, hopefully this helps uh, those folks that were um, you know trying to get a handle uh, on it and wrap their heads around it but uh, that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching